Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the stream. It's lovely to see so many of you here bright and early. What is up? Today, we are doing a sponsored stream, as you can see pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Today, we're being sponsored by a brand new Otome game called Love and Deep Space. Love and Deep Space is a 3D dating sim Otome game that allows you to step into an interactive sci-fi world where love is truly within your reach. It's got a very interesting 3D art style. The characters all look absolutely gorgeous. And the people behind Love and Deep Space have been nice enough to sponsor this stream, get us to play it, get us to check out some things. And yeah, we're going to dive into this and see how we feel about the characters, how we feel about the story, how we feel about the gameplay and everything. They actually also prepared an exclusive coupon code for this stream. So you can use LNDX Folger, as you can see in the top left there, to get some redeem rewards in the game after completing chapter one. It'll be valid up until February 17th. So even if you're watching this stream a bit late, you can still dive in, get your rewards and see what you think about the game for yourself at home. But good morning, everybody. I'm very excited for this. Sorry, <laughs> I had to go into scripted mode for the beginning of that. I wanted to get everything word for word properly. <laughs> but this game is available on Android and iOS. And if you use the QR code at the top left of the stream, you can also be taken straight to the page there as well to download the game and try it out for yourself. You can also follow the official Twitter account at love underscore deep space for more information and lots of generous rewards. And <laughs> if you end up getting into this game, you're going to want those because, yeah, they give you lots of customization options. They give you plenty of fun little gimmicks to play with. Oh, man. I mean, we're mainly. OK, so calm down, Fuchan. Chill. <laughs> Sorry, I've been very excited for this stream. I watched a tiny bit of Uki playing. it. I wanted to go in mostly blind. But I watched a little bit of Uki, I watched a little bit of Ike, and I just kind of heard some things about what Luca did while he was playing it. So <laughs> we are not going to be starting at the beginning of the game. Um, I believe Uki and Ike both did chapter one and Luca did chapter two. Today, we're going to be diving into chapter three, which I believe means we're going to be playing with Xavier throughout a lot of this chapter. So yeah, we're already level 26. We have plenty of points. We'll probably be doing some of the gacha later, but I'm really excited to dive into this. <laughs> so good morning, everybody. For the first part, we're going to dump, jump into the story and see how that goes. Try to play some of the battles, try to play some of the dating scenes, and then later on, we may do some other fun parts. But thank you for being here. I'm excited to try this out because just from all the clips I've been seeing, from all of the art, seeing things about the characters, seeing how you can customize your own character, take photos, go on dates, all of that. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go chapter three. Yeah, I'm hoping that I won't mess it up too much because, yeah, we're going to be diving into the deep end. They, they needed a real gamer for this one. <laughs> Xavier Sims lucky. Let's go. Well, with that said, let's jump into the story and see what we're up to. The first mission, chapter two. Yeah, so we've already cleared chapter two. We're diving straight into chapter three. Number one, order number 85. Ooh, okay, let's do this. When we get into an actual battle, it's also got to go like full, full screen. But during the storylines, it's horizontal. So you get to see more of your favorite characters, more of the beautiful graphics to look at. That is one thing I'll say about this before we even get into the game is just, oh my god. <laughs> seeing the graphics, seeing the 3D modeled characters has been absolutely gorgeous. Xavier is your main man. I don't know about that yet. We'll find out. Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> Xavier is the one we're going to be spending a lot of time with today, but we'll, we'll meet all of them. Don't worry. Okay. Commission. Location. No Hunt Zone 7. Status. Active. Task details. Directive number 85. A sudden fluctuation occurred in some districts of Lincoln City. Please proceed to investigate and resolve the crisis. Objective. Clear the source of fluctuation. Oh, hell yeah. It's time to murder some shit. <laughs> According... Oh, no, cease. Oh, okay. I'm getting a bunch of extra stuff, I guess. Companion signals failed. Okay, this is as loud as I can make it, unfortunately. Jenna looking kind of cute, too. Our objective is to investigate and send back information. 
prioritize your safety and don't get into unnecessary fights. Oh, one second as well. I just realized it's capturing my clicks, which it should not be. There we go. That'll fix that. Okay. <laughs> prioritize my safety? I think to worry about their safety. This game gave me a gun. And that means everybody needs to fear me. Get in between me and my men. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. The Wanderers appearing outside the train isn't a random occurrence. Even if I defeated them, several other locations in Lincoln City still. While the mission is simple, the fact is, the fact it's in no hunt zone number seven makes it unique. Mm, that's not our hunter, though, so they're probably not going to do very well. They don't have our skill level, our connection. Enter zone three. We'll report back when needed. How's zone four? I've reached the entrance of zone four. I look around. I only hear the sound of rustling trees swaying in the night breeze. My partner isn't here yet. I don't know why I went for robot or what that one i was thinking more of doing like a phone call kind of voice but it, it's fine oh that's story number one complete <laughs> number two no hunt zone number seven. Oh, we're moving deeper so immediately i quite like this whole thing we're actually like literally charting a path so each chapter is like a story moving forward we've gotten to the entrance by the train station and now we're moving into no hunt zone number seven can't stop me from hunting we'll be slowly turning into fury now <laughs> i don't know what you mean just a cute little sheep oh this is actually 3d rendered animation it's been a couple of hours and there are still no signs of them the signal is getting worse too i can't keep waiting oh shit are we going in without our partner that's not a good idea Fuchan. <laughs> i'll just head in first mm. Okay, maybe we will die. <laughs> We're going to have to get rescued. Oh. I'm also not fully aware of what, like, outfit I'm wearing right now. We'll work that out as we go on. So I'm a badass. I don't need no man. As someone who's watched, like... Wasn't I here before? Ugh. <sighs> No matter where I go, my surroundings look exactly the same. The voice acting is nice as well. Her voice is very relaxing. Very soothing. But yeah, as someone who's watched like a lot of 3D animated Donghua, this is damn good. <laughs> like, the animation is good. I, I on, I'll die. That's for sure. Good thing we're not alone anymore. Someone. Is this Xavier? He's touching the beast. Is he comforting the wanderer? Maybe he can just make it less grumpy. It'll just be a giant kitty. <sighs> yeah, okay. He sued them to death. That's how you know you're powerful. One touch just instantly finished off the monster. Imagine what he can do in bed. From the other day. The collar as well. <laughs> it's me. We've met before, I swear. Put the sword down, my back at the research base. What did he just cut off After of me? I escaped. You asked me to. <sighs> okay, yeah, we got lucky being with Xavier. This guy's badass. You asked me to keep our meeting a secret. I'm feeling kind of pathetic right now, though. The man really tied me up and hung me up upside down. Come on, dude. Oh, my God. Well, getting all kinds of fetishes triggered already. <laughs> Volker, please. They knew what they were doing when they sponsored me for this game. There are some very interesting directions you can take that. Number three, reunion under moon. Okay, Xavier. Let's see how grumpy you really are. You have me... Captured? What are you gonna Sorry, do to me? Oh, we're already untied. Thank you for your help. Well, <laughs> they're gonna make us work for it. I didn't expect us to meet again so soon. And I didn't expect you to be brave enough to come here alone. That's a nice, gentle I didn't voice. Have a choice. My partner went missing. Sword, badass. 
The energy fluctuations make it easy to get lost. You should leave now that you hurt your ankle. But what about you? Aren't you worried about getting lost? Yeah, we should stay together, but, but, oh, but wait, for safety. That's right. You can just poof whenever you want. Oh, the close up. The eyes are this so beautiful. Is scary because of the unpredictable metaflux surges. Many tenebrae came here seeking the high grade protocols to sell on the market. But after obtaining them, the hunters were never seen again. Hmm. Why? This forest is alive. It consumed them. It consumed them. Shit's getting real. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm not falling for it. I... I was ready for sci-fi. I was not ready for fantasy. <laughs> Even his EN voice is so soft here. Yeah, he sounds really gentle. Especially considering he started by just calming a monster, tying us up and hanging us up, upside down. I thought he'd be more grumpy and angsty. The fact that he's this gentle after that is, yeah, a bit of a gap moe kind of thing. I'm into it. Still not falling for it though, pretty boy. You need to work harder. Scaring me won't work. Yeah, I got a gun. You have guts. I wish you the best of luck. Or we could work together. I lost my partner. All right, we're not far from the edge of the forest. You'll be able to get the safety from here. The snatched waist. Wait, what about you? Are you wearing Why the corset for, sir? Take care of yourself. So men can grab it? I don't have much of a booty, though. But decent. That's it? No! <laughs> Maze. Oh, we're going to get lost again. <laughs> no, this is so damsel in distressy. Don't do this to me. His face is Gap Moe already. He's a gentle beast, Futan. Yeah, he calms the other beasts. A creeping frog enshrouds moonlight. The forest is even darker, and the evening wind resembles a sob. I carefully move my ankle and lift my watch to find there's no signal. I look at the spot where Xavier had vanished. He's a mysterious person. Could he be my mission partner? I was told I'd be working with the best hunter, but if it's really Xavier, did the system make a mistake? Rude! Bro, you saw him calm a monster down already! <laughs> Just because he's so pretty doesn't mean he can't fight, man. Save me, Xavier, save me. You see, I, I think people know. I, I don't really mind when it comes to romance, like what kind of direction it heads in. I've played a lot of anime games, and one of the things that I do love about anime games is that they do just lean into the fantasies where it's like, you know what? Maybe we don't have to be a badass, strong person. Maybe we can just get tied up and attacked and have to be defended and have to have some hero rush in to save me. So yeah, I'm hoping they lean into that some more. <laughs> I like that kind of feeling every now and then. Sometimes I want to be the badass doing the rescuing. Sometimes I want to be the one tied up upside down who's just like, oh no, what are you going to do to me? I, I hope you're going to let me down. <laughs> <laughs> so on X that Xavier supposedly has the most cake though. Maybe it was just a bad angle. To be fair, he has one of those little tiny like vests that hangs down a bit over the booty. So maybe it was covering it up a bit. A wanderer's roar cuts through the air. I tightly hold my gun. Oh, you, you got it. You got it. Did he run into trouble? No, that's impossible. If anything, the wanderer should be the one who's worried. The leaves rustle. It's not the wind. It's Xavier. I'll put that away. <laughs> God damn, the eyes are so pretty. Skin is so soft. Waist, waist is so snatched. This is a pretty decent outfit for the like level one outfit as well. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of like a bit of a Rufus Shinra thing going on with the shit tons of white. I glance behind me, a familiar figure emerging from the cover of night. You're... I am. Why did you come back? Xavier's brow furrows as he scans his surroundings. He looks at the tree stump I'm sitting on. He realizes I haven't moved. He turns around, clearing his throat. There are many wanderers here. I've already taken care of some of them. Oh, good job. Need me to finish off the rest of them? 
You getting tired? It should be safe for you to leave. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. <laughs> Damn it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, he's not very good at expressing his emotions. He rushes off in another direction, vanishing into the forest. Before long, there's another wail from the Wanderers. I love that he's smashing them down just with a sword as well. Man likes to get in nice and close. But within ten minutes, a beam of light cleaves through the shrubs. Amidst the flurry of leaves and branches, Xavier and Ilok eyes. Let me guess. You cleared out the Wanderers on the other side? Yes. Good job. Who's a good boy? Well, also, oh, he doesn't have a collar. It's like an undershirt. Damn it. I really hoped he had a collar. <laughs> it went all red around his neck. I was like, yo, that's kind of nice. Another 10 minutes pass. I'm speechless as Xavier appears before me for a third time. His expression, initially wary and awkward, is relaxed. I've been thinking. Leaving an injured teammate behind isn't a good idea. Oh, so we're teammates now. Enemies to teammates. We're on our way. Don't worry. It'll just take a little bit. Would have been nicer if he was like more aggressive though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Someone said he's a himbo. I don't even think he's so much a himbo. He might be. I don't know enough about him yet. So far, he feels very stoic. He just feels like he doesn't understand his emotions enough to talk properly. So yeah, for now, I'm thinking he's more like stoic. A little bit of a coudere kind of feeling. Got the AI collar. Oh, hell yeah. Not something you can grab, but I mean, you can grab the turtleneck, so that's fine. <laughs> so you finally see me as your partner, huh? You don't look guilty. Animation is really good in this. You could really feel the emotion in that. Xavier rubs his face, his gaze shifting to the perilous forest. He's a shy boy. It's too dark for you to see. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's a cutie. He's doing his best. He's trying to be nice to us. <laughs> You'll see in later chapters. I hope so. Uh-oh. The hunter's watch glitches for the fifth time. The electronic light illuminating Xavier's expressionless face fades as I lower my arm. Is my uniform not enough? Well, they don't seem to recognize you. I'd be pretty impressed if you were just some random out here killing the Wanderers. Use the corset to grab him and bring him close. <laughs> Believe me, if I had the option. <laughs> Anyone can wear a uniform. Given your suspicious behavior, I see no reason not to confirm. Tell me something only a unicorn's hunter would know. See again the way the During eyebrows the burrow. Catastrophe. The first wanderer to be killed was Tezcatlipoca. It happened. Mm hmm. Oh, story's running thin. What? You forgot? Anyone can look that up on the internet. Try again. <sighs> <laughs> We're stressing about so much. He lets out a soft sigh. Raising his hand, specks of starlight gradually gather around us. The light moves along his fingers, transforming into golden threads in the dark. A pattern composed of several diamonds appears. Surrounded by radiant light, Xavier quietly stares at me, waiting for me to speak. Ah, uh, it looks pretty? <laughs> You trying to wow me, or is this your way of saying, I have magic? <laughs> That's actually a great distraction. The dude's like, oh no, she's questioning me. Check out this magic trick. <laughs> Slowly steals my wallet from behind. <laughs> Tie him up and interrogate him. We could. He's already got a lot of good things to attach to. I mean, goddamn. The corset, the straps around the shoulders. It looks like he's got more under that layer as well. Sir, how many ways are you tied up? What are they holding back? He closes his eyes. I'm asking if it looks familiar to you at all. The, the shiny lights? I stare at the complicated pattern again. No? Should it be? The light flickers, 
Maybe Xavier was hoping to hear something else. You'll see it soon. Yeah, no, his voice acting's really good. This dude's doing great. He's doing like a coudere, but it's not flat. Normally when a lot of people do a coudere, they have to go like, yes, okay, well, we'll see what happens. But he's got like a good like richness to his voice, even while it's got no emotion in it. It's impressive. Keep an eye out for any ruins. This pattern can appear on the Flux Nexus. Very gentle, very nice. It's a device that captures Metaflux. It's also the source of the fluctuations here. Our mission will be complete once we find it. Okay. Well, you knew something that I didn't. <laughs> I guess that's why you're the strongest hunter. <laughs> he sounds confident, but something is still off. Has my identity been confirmed? Oh, he smiled a little there. No. Realizing the problem at hand, I take a step back. The objective said nothing about a pattern or flux nexus. You could have just made it up. And if this is some top secret info, how did you get it? You're getting even more suspicious by the second. Xavier seems stumped by all the questions. He waves his hand, golden light dissipating into particles. Forget it. Think of me as a normal hunter who happened to be passing by. Oh, no, you're going to be my partner. You just use your words more. Come on. The pattern still lingers in my mind. I remember what Tara was telling me earlier. A stone steel with, with peculiar symbols. Wait, can you describe what the Flux Nexus looks like? Like its size or the material it's made from? Will you believe me, though? You wouldn't be able to confirm if it's all made up. And I'll be even more suspicious. <laughs> we put him on such a back foot. We've questioned everything about him. And now he's just like, you don't really care. You're not going to be interested even if I do tell you the truth. You don't even know. <laughs> it's so sad. It's okay, Xavier. I'm not trying to trip you up. I just, I actually have a confirmation, my dude. <laughs> he's using my own words against me. I like that. <laughs> You've already said a lot. It wouldn't hurt to say a few more things. The frustration in his eyes. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't have a set size. It could be mistaken for a stone sculpture. There we go. Stone. There. Xavier, I know your mind games. Yeah, at this point, he's just like, she's just flirting with me or something. Why does she keep trying to challenge me? God, let me do my job. I just want to kill mon- Well, he doesn't even kill most of the monsters. He calmed that one down pretty impressive his description matches up but one of the abandoned research base should be the same thing if the flux nexus really is the source of the fluctuations then it could have caused an explosion with looming trees blocking the moonlight monsters roam the forest and howl their roars are accompanied by distant thunder Xavier doesn't seem to have noticed me being momentarily distracted he slightly turns in the direction of the sound. It doesn't matter. Let's get out of here first. Yeah, let's not get eaten. In the bad way. Let's go out of here How's together. Right? Oh, the lean in. Oh, that's pretty dramatic. Why are his lips so pretty? Um, uh, my ankle's fine. You could maybe massage it a little bit. No, it's terrible, actually. Princess carry me. Get me the hell out of here. I got a crown. You dropped this, King. Dizzy, personal title. <laughs> Dizzy? Really? Okay. When does the ab... What? Hopefully soon. I've got one question. Can I customize his look? Here's the thing. <laughs> we'll be right back. I, I gotta do something real quick. I know there's a way to customize my boys' looks. Bum, bum, bum. I think it's in the photo studio, but maybe that only changes it for the photo studio. We got five hearts with Xavier. Bum, bum. Okay. Him. Uh, uh, what? You know, I just want him. Yeah, hit me. I don't care about the background. Style him. No, okay, so it won't change him in the actual game. Oh, okay, we'll go back then. It won't change him in the actual story things. That's what he's wearing. 
That looks so comfy. Holy crap. <sighs> That's fine as fuck. Look at the little bunny rabbit thing. I love that. That's some real gap moe right there. The fact that it's like, oh, he's so stoic. He's so chill. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's got a little cute bunny rabbit pendulum. pendulum. Oh, that looks almost like a wedding outfit. You can customize on the home. Oh, I'll try that then. Oh, battle damage. They know what they're doing. Okay, this is a fantastic game. <laughs> the amount of times I've asked Niji Sanji if I can be like covered in blood and like have my clothes like torn to shreds like that as Legatus. Nope. You get to do it in this. God damn, that's awesome. Oh, we've got so many outfits. Okay, so these are the non-broken versions of the other two. Legatus coded? The black and red military uniform? Frick, yeah. Oh, no, he do have a booty. You just... Yeah, it was just the angle. You couldn't properly see it from the back, but from the side... Yeah, man has cake. <laughs> we need the towel shot. We'll, we'll see. That's just like a normal military uniform. That's much more classic. Oh, you can put them in the school uniform. Yeah, okay, this is a good game. <laughs> they know exactly what they're doing. And then just a purple version of his main outfit. I like the pure white, actually. The purple do pop a little bit, but it's just, it doesn't match him. Definitely best one. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> you haven't, yeah, I know. Get me out of here. Um, So you can change them in the home. Confirm. Where is this home? Flat pancake. It wasn't flat, though. That's the thing. Playtime for the studio album. Oop. Is it here? Do I just like click his face? Don't take my bookmark. I. Oh, he likes books too. What if I grab the. Oh, I can poke him. What if I start with the knee? <laughs> the silence. Don't worry about it. Here, I can give you. Did I fall asleep just now? Shit. That's kind of sexy. <laughs> God damn it. They know what Delulu is? No, they just, they understand. Can you touch the cake? Unfortunately, no. I'm doing my best to resist touching anywhere like higher than the knee and lower than, you know, you can touch chest. Chest is fine. Apparently, I did steal his bookmark. That's fine. You can talk to him too. His heartbeat. Oh, these are all locked. Well, we're going to be doing the gacha later, so maybe we'll be able to unlock some of that stuff. <laughs> Speech bubble below the mail icon. This one. Boom, boom, boom. Relax time. What to eat. His heartbeats. Photos. Oh, customization. Perfect. So maybe this will make them. Per well, no, because the story, he's still not wearing this. I guess it's just customizing it in the main menu. Uh, after the gotcha, I'll do this. For now, we'll just change into this. This is not bad. I'll go with. Wait. Oh, that costs money too. Fine. Be in your battle uniform. Conf wait. Wait. Oh, we didn't <laughs> confirm it. <laughs> there. So, uh, let him decide. What do you want to wear? Check after 5 a.m. tomorrow? Okay, I give up. Let's just continue this story. <laughs> Click on the hanger on the right. Oh my god, there's so many things. Get rid of that speech bubble. That's boring. Angel Halo. Bunny is. Oh. The devil horns. <laughs> um, facial. How do you look with glasses? Eh, those don't really suit you. Nah, sunglasses. What the hell? <laughs> Deal with it. Oh my god. Yeah, the thick rims aren't too bad. That's not bad either. Earrings. No, none of that. Yuck. We don't have any of those. Nice. <laughs> it's the white outfit. That's what makes it hard to see the booty. You haven't... Oh, rec oh, so it's like recommend, like ask him to wear. Got you. That's why it means recommend. The glasses keep falling. Now I finally understand how heavy glasses chains are. <laughs> the body ears. The body ears were cute. The sunglasses were pretty adorable too. But yeah, no, this is perfect. Okay, back in we go. Sorry. <laughs> Distractions. You gotta look good before you murder shit.
You gotta slay before you slay. And yeah, no, it doesn't customize them in the story. Which is okay, I guess, because I'm sure they'll change the outfits as we get to different parts of the story. Like relaxing ones back at the home, I'm sure we'll get into a more casual outfit. The energy fluctuations aren't intense, but they're unpredictable. Oh, that speech. <laughs> no wonder we keep getting lost. I use my evil to scan my surroundings while also looking for a way out. Xavier, why are we always trapped together whenever we meet? Curious, is it not? Why do you always happen to be around when I'm in trouble? I guess I'm your savior. Answering my question with another? That's not very nice. I sneak a glance at him just as he turns his head toward me. I act nonchalant and look away. Shh. Don't you shush me. Sensing something's off, his expression turns serious, and I become quiet. In the dim light, a few steps away from the slope, are several wanderers on the move. Their bodies shimmer with an eerie electrical glow. They're around B rank and won't be that strong. They work in groups, manipulating the space around them to trap their prey. They're like spiders, waiting until their victims tire themselves out. Then they feast. Correct. Xavier takes a couple of steps, positioning himself in front of me. Oh, he's trying to defend me. Don't you worry, I got myself. They're causing the spatial distortions. Explains why we've been walking in circles. Xavier, we should split up. I'll go... We've been spotted. Oh, shit. <laughs> in the blink of an eye, he vanishes. A few streaks of light slice through the murky night. Before I knew it... All that remains at the bottom of the slope is Xavier's shadow holding his sword. The wanderers dissipate into dust, scattering to the... Oh, there is definitely a way to move that. I do not know how. <laughs> he sheaths his sword, turns around, and raises his head. Sorry, what were you saying? Oh my god, the badass. He's just like, oh, sorry. Let me interrupt you for a second while I go kill all the enemies. <laughs> sorry, what were you saying? Something about being careful? Something about having to deal with the enemies that I just sliced with one fucking move? Uh, it's nothing. Just, just talking to myself. Definitely didn't shatter my pride or anything. Once I catch up to him, I check the area around us. The fluctuations have stopped. This way. Xavier walks ahead silently. Puzzled, I follow after him until we stand in front of a boulder. Suddenly, a new path emerges behind it. Ooh, we got a whole new opening. Man, he killed the monsters before me. I want to do some of the fighting in this game, damn it. Awakened Forest. Hit me. He's badass. He really is. He's so freaking cool. I really like these animations. It seems harmless, but it's scary during combat. But it's so Scary. pretty outside of it. It's a compliment. Xavier, you told me to keep your presence there a secret. You also said you'd explain everything the next hey. time you meet. How you doing? You be yep, she's looking right to. <laughs> it's a long story. Is it Liar. now? Well, since we're on the same team, we have time to figure it out in the future. Actually, that's way better. Oh, wait. You're a normal hunter who just happened to be <sighs> passing by. Do you need so to relaxing. So soft. You haven't exactly been honest. Mm. But now that I think about it, we faced a few challenges together. Hey, you should trust me by now. Regardless we backed of each the other up. You're hiding, we can work together for now. Oh, his face. He Something doesn't like to trust people. Ahead. Get ready. Yeah. <laughs> Change okay. the subject. That works. <laughs> See, there's a dumpy. There is. There definitely is. It's not a pancake. It's a whole ass cake. This place used to be a signal station. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we're Hunter. ready. It hasn't finished. Finished what? I really like this as well. The fact that they're starting to empathize with the wanderers. We're seeing the beauty now. Metaflux is converging on the wanderer absorbing it it's eating it's an aeon worm it's the most dangerous species of wanderer oh lovely 
Big old dragon. The absorbed Metaflux particles are being used to reconstruct it. Oh. Wait, was it dead or Is just hurt? Is this the Nexus you mentioned before? A stone sculpture. Oh, those lining effects are beautiful vault, too. Be able to undo the lock on it. Try it. Can this even be opened with my evil? This stone. Since it's it was made for me. To create the same fluctuations. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a shot. Am I the chosen one? Oh yeah. Uh oh, Did we just bring the dragon back to life. <laughs> I mean, if we're empathizing with them. It's different than other protocols. Wonder if we can have pets They're of them gone. in the future. We were just in time. However, the energy fluctuations prove that someone wants to resurrect the Aeon Worm. Oh. If a wanderer like that entered Blinkon, the consequences would be unimaginable. So somebody intelligent is doing evil um, shit. There may be more than one flux nexus in this forest. Yeah, it'd still be glowing. Shh. I heard something. Quit being so sexy then. I don't know what it is about someone telling you to shh. It's just very the sensual. The has changed. The forest is waking up. Well, hopefully it will stop eating people then. <gasps> the moon is beautiful. Now. Oh my god, this zoom in. Bitch, I was about to get my kiss. Oh, it's a little baby dragon. Deal with this one. That's such a sick shot, man. Us two standing in front of the monsters. Let's go. Hunter Claymore equipped. <gasps> we got a sword. I'm so happy. We don't need no gun anymore. Landscape mode. Okay, we're about to hit landscape mode and slice some shit up. I like her outfit too. She got the black and red going on as well. Let's go. Okay. Full screen, baby. The cock blockers. I know, right? How dare they syndome us. Defeat all wanderers. Defeat all wanderers in the proto field within the time limit. You got it. I don't even need him. What I want this time. That depends. What do you want? How about we talk about it? The wagon! Foul wings. Oh, I didn't get enough time to read that. Too close. You'll hurt yourself. No, that's Stop. you. You'll hurt yourself. Watch out. Uh oh. Xavier. Nice! See, I Be dodged careful. Xavier. You Are didn't. You okay? They're just fine. Can you keep up? Can I? Okay, Xavier. Look, you're normally gentle in the cutscenes. Why are you acting so challenging right Oh, he broke his shield. He's so fucked. Oh, he has four health bars. I didn't even notice that. Nice! Got his weakness too. These battles are actually really good. It's a nice action RPG. Get him again, boy! Nice. Watch out. Yeah, he doing his big attack. Care. When Wanderers use certain skills, their protocol will be closed off. Ah, uh, so I have to break down his shield again. I'd consider it a Wyvern. Yeah, it's a bit smaller than a full-size dragon. Wait, does it have arms? Yeah, it's a Wyvern. I think that's the difference between dragons and Wyverns, right? The dragons have like four legs and then Wyverns only have like the two back legs. When the protocol is closed off, it can't be damaged. Well, keep a distance from it. No! It should keep a distance from me. <laughs> I am not afraid. I am not afraid. It's Get him again! Here we the weak. Shield no, broken! Just... You're so screwed. Weakness? 4,000 damage. Oh, so... oh big I attack. I won't lose to you. I wasn't worried. So good. <laughs> 
This is actually really good. I could... Oh, no. I'm going to get addicted to this, aren't I? Fuck. <laughs> Stage cleared. HP no less than 50. Win in 90 seconds. Okay, we did good. And we got some shiny rubies. You can tap his icon for a move. Yeah, but I think with Xavier, he just, like, gives you a buff. So it's a bit less interesting. I like the stabby stabs. Back to movie mode. Can't go on like this. Okay, that's a problem. Just keeps showing up. Oh, <gasps> the hand grab? Hold on. This bitch can fly? <gasps> he grabbed around the waist as well. Oh, the slowly opening eyes. That's cute. We're safe now. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> the embarrassment. <laughs> Thank you. Angelus were headed straight for us. It must be because of this protocol. Let me check it. No, I can hold on to it. You don't have to protect me. I got a sword too. Why is it? It's been modified. Clearly the work of Anakinus. Anakinus. They the bad guys? An organization stationed in the N109 zone. Modifying protocols is their most infamous achievement. Mm. Let the Hunters Association handle it. They know what to do. Aren't you coming back with me? Yeah, don't leave. The moon is out now. It's much brighter than before. So this time, you won't get lost. Oh, the way he's... Mm. Really good. Subtle facial animation there. Beautiful robot bird. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, the way his eyebrows raised slightly while he said that, there was a little bit of challenge, and then he smiled just a tiny bit as he turned away. God damn, they know what they're doing. <laughs> Playtime has been unlocked. Life twinkle toys. Oh, dear God. New content? Don't mind if I do. I, what, what is Playtime? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's way not what I expected. Um, <laughs> this is a much cuter game than I keep imagining. <laughs> is Bahusu Booba in that shot? And the booty, man. Hate to see him go, but I love to see him go in there. That would be so cool, Rabbit Boy. It's cute that he is so rabbit themed as well. It really suits him. Okay, Claw Machine. Oop. What are we gonna get? I love Claw Machines. I always end up wasting all my money on them in games. Zane? No. Crap. <laughs> little, little baby sheeps. Look at the confidants. What up, Zane? It's you. It is. Do you like playing with claw machines? I'm I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Path. Wait, who are you trying to weigh prizes for then? A young patient of mine had her eyes on that plushie. Okay, I overheard her that's talking adorable. about it. Thought I would get it for her. But you're really, really bad. <laughs> so you're going to surprise her. Damn, his booty is huge. Well, what the? Let's see if I can get it first. You will. I believe in you. <laughs> the main character's personality is so different between Zane and Xavier. <laughs> With Zane, it's like, you're going to do great. You got this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> With Xavier, it's like, who are you? I can do it myself. I don't trust you. <laughs> it's us. Yeah, we're trying to capture the confidants. Oh, he's trying to get a plushie. You can adjust the camera angle to see more. Swipe left and right to look around. But, uh, bah, give an encounter. Your support will continue to grow. Okay, so this is like a date. If you manage to fill the bar within the time limit, you might get a surprise. Let this be my first attempt. I need to readjust the claw. Don't get touchy feeling this touchy feely this time. Here's a good spot, bro. You're between them. Mm -mm. Uh, honestly, if you just knock that one forward, it might fall in. Or that one to the side. You don't even need to grab grab. Oh, he looks so sad and angry. <laughs> you seem to be a professional. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah, I'll kick your ass. Uh, I'm used to winning stuffed toys for children. Mainly from Yakuza. Control the stick and move the claw to be right above... Uh-oh. 
After getting into position, tap the red button to grab the plushie. Have fun. Oh, I will. Hope I can do this with. Nope. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll drag the claw. Ah, oh, so intense. Okay, let's try to grab it first. Dozing off, are you? Shut up, Zane. I'm doing my best here. Here you go. No, here I go. You son. Oh, and he rolled backwards. Damn it. Yeah, no, I should have tried to just knock him in. Okay, new plan. We're knocking that one from the right in. Calm yourself and then continue. I am calm. Yeah, okay, let's knock this one on the left in. It's the comfy grabber? It is. Shit, we went too far to the right. We pushed it a little bit though. Okay, we're getting there. I don't want to grab them by the head. I don't think that works. Grabbing them by the body might work. Try to think outside the box. That's what I'm doing. That might... No, a little bit left. Let's try that. Stuck in your mind palace again? Don't you quote Sherlock at me. Yeah, okay. It went left. Now I can just grab it around the throat. My favorite way to grab sheep. You seem to really like fleecy. You only have a promotion. You can claim one. Or would you like to continue? No, I'll get one myself. Good luck then. Damn staff members are giving up on me already. <laughs> it won't escape. You're damn well right. Because this time I have it by the... I almost said something bad. <gasps> yeah, I got it around the throat. What do you mean it's not your throat, Zane? I got it. Got it. It's so cute. Holy shit. He's so much taller than me. Your taste is rather childish. I thought we were getting this for a child. <laughs> I enjoy my childish hobbies. In any case, you did your best. Since I only won this plushie because of you, visit the hospital when you have time. You should be the one giving her the plushie. Aw, that's cute. Your timeline, a surgeon's hands. What fleece you with Zane for the first time? A sheep that loves its beautiful wool so much that it refuses to be shit. <laughs> Even when its face is about to be buried in fluff. It's just like you guys. <laughs> Doesn't get shit or probably blush brushed. Uppies. That's not uppies. That's grabbing around the throat, damn it. Zane is big. Yeah, I barely come up to his chesticles. Okay. Oh, there's harder version. No. Balance, fun wheel, dynamic. Okay. The standard just normally the claw game still. If so, we'll probably come back out, but we'll check. <laughs> it's crowded here. I mean, claw machines are always Only fun. Win something. That's not true. Before I leap. Well, I'll go first then. Do your best. Yep, I'm gonna win before you even have a chance. That's a pretty nice outfit too, though. Oh, <gasps> little foxies and I have no idea what those are. Tap the switch button to suggest you switch places. No. I got this. I'm gonna knock him to the side again. Actually, I kind of want one of the foxes. And they already look like they're in the right kind of position where you could actually grab them. Let's try. Uppies is uppies. <laughs> Not if it ends with suffocation. <laughs> or defenestration. You can switch to other boys too. Oh. I don't give any... Oh, okay. No, not that way then. Damn it. You go for it, Zane. I'm going to just touch your chest while you do it. Choose the one that you like. Um, Give me a snowy fox. And let's aim for this one. Cone? Yeah, it looks like it's a little tiny crab with like a... Uh, ice cream cone on top of it. There's no point in overthinking it. It's a claw machine. There's no need to be so excited. There we go. Maximum. Are you cheering me on or messing with me? I'm hoping you'll get me what I want. <sighs> nah, not even around the body, my dude. Tap him? Yeah, I'm tapping him. Don't worry. Anyway. <laughs> Distractions. These minor miscalculations are only to be expected. Take it easy. No, I want to take control. I deserve it, damn it. I'm not exhausted. But scare the plushies. There it is. 
I don't think he's very good at this game. <laughs> you know what? Bad Zane, you did bad. Spank time. Not that I wanted that or anything. We all have our strengths, and playing the claw machine isn't mine. <laughs> Fair. Wait, it's not letting me trade back. Doctor's hand should be using, used for saving lives, not for this. Let me play. If you want to play, you can do it. Don't come up with an excuse. It's so fucking true. <laughs> you got this, dude. Oh? Nah. You have to go for the body, my boy. Uh, he may know a lot about medicine, but he doesn't know much about physics. Don't worry. I know what to do. I don't think you do. Don't worry. I'll grab it need to go for a bit more of the rump kind of area. There we go. We're pointing over thinking it now. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got him by the throat. Don't you? No, no. Yes. Yes. Okay. I wear a scarf or a shawl like this when I... What about you? I simply don't go out at all. All I need is my fireplace. But what if you really need to go out? I'll bring you with me. It's more fun that way. <laughs> the way he avoided my gaze while he said that. That was good Riz. God damn. We I'm not tired yet. Enough. I can go another round or three. The plushies also need to rest. But we didn't even get a cone yet. Even a workaholic needs a day off. Why else would I be here? Fair. Knew this would happen. We got a snowy fox and our affinity went up super high. Poor Snowy Fox loves its pearly white snow boots so much that it's holding back a desire to play outside. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I like the little cape, too. Affinity up to nine. Unlocked moment post, rabbit's escape. Man. wonder how I changed the boy. Bum, 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 bum. Why does he look so angry? Because that happens to be hot. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a bit of a sneer. Okay, change it up. Xavier. Let's see who you, how you are at the claw machine. We'll do this one more time before we move on. I want the cone thing too. Bum, bum, bum. Thank you for winning us a fox food, Sean. Said that was for you There's guys. There's actually a trick to this, as long as you know it. That's for me. You'll be able to get that, the plushies you want. As well, rely on luck. Aw. Who will go first? I I want this man's jumper. That looks so fucking comfy. Holy shit! It's so unnecessary. Like these buttons do nothing. That, that would open up a nipple view. <laughs> oh no, there's another button here. Okay, so you could actually open up the whole chest. Damn. <laughs> That's a very unique setup, actually. <laughs> Who will go first? Ah, uh, you go first. I got to raise Copy our affinity. That. Go ahead, Xavier. Oh, he smiled. The cutest one? The ugliest one? Give me a cone crab. All right. That's the one. Oh, you do that. I'll start working on... You trying to give me a massage? Oh, I am actually touching. Oh. <laughs> you can poke the butt. It works. Pretend you didn't see anything. Oh, I didn't. My my eyes were very much distracted, my dude. Does this spot look good to you? Mm, yeah, that's probably what I would have gone for. <gasps> oh, you got close, my dude. Who is he calling ugly? The cone crab, guys. It's fine. <laughs> oh, don't look so disappointed. Why is my Evo not cooperating today? I don't want to wait for the results. My turn next round. All right, I don't want you to fall asleep. Aw. Or right, I'll go for the ugliest one. That's so mean. May the light help us. Good luck, buddy. Hmm. I'd go more for the booty, but okay. Oh? Shit, he's way better than Zane. Let's go, Xavier, you legend. He's cheating. I mean, using your own light magic isn't cheating. <laughs> Is this ice cream cone the hermit crab's home? 
It probably has a hard time living in a house like that. Why? It would start craving ice cream as soon as it's home. But it can't exactly eat its own house, right? That's actually an adorable conversation. <laughs> if anything, you'd get sick of ice cream. Okay, he got the... Yeah, well, we've got one of those, so maybe I have to get one too. Don't overthink it. Just go. Don't. Mm, go to the back. Yeah, let's go with that. He's cheating, Futsan. Doesn't matter. If you win, you win. If you happen to be born with magic... Shit. So close. If you happen to be born with magic, you can use magic for a claw machine. Don't get discouraged. The plushie is at four. <laughs> That's adorable. He's like, no, no, no. It's not that you're bad at the game. It's the plushie's fault. <laughs> what a simping thing to say. <laughs> you look very confident. That's because I know my own skill, baby. Don't you drop out. Yes. Okay, we got two of these. Maybe I should have gotten a fox. Why do you make it seem so easy? I'm just that good. Now I'm going to get a fox too. That uh, looks about right. I don't even have your silly evil power. Shit, I was way off. That was... <laughs> well, that's what I get for being all confident for a moment. Oh, man. He's a simp and he's proud of it. As he should be. I deserve that I in my life. Good today. It even shows the two of them. That's adorable. I'll be sleeping with my plushies most tonight. Likely end up on the floor. Oh. Hey, the other day when I dropped the book you lent me, that was an accident, Did okay? You fall asleep while reading it. Well, if it helped you sleep, it wasn't entirely useless. Okay. I know he probably didn't mean it this way. <laughs> But when I was like, yo, I'm going to put the plushies on the bed. And he was like, they'll probably end up on the floor. Was that his way of saying we were going to smash? Because <laughs> that was a good line. Holy shit. God damn. Crab siblings? Yeah, we got two cone, cra cone, uh, that cone crabs. Infinity up. We got up to six. What is this? Xavier, what for lunch? A photo I out item. Special pose that can make your time with him unforgettable be selected while taking a snapshot. That's so cute. I don't remember. Um, One second. I, think. <laughs> I got so distracted by the dating. I was just like, I should really figure out exactly how much of this story I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Okay, 311. Let's go finish this story. That was fun, though. I can't believe they even show how many things you win. We unlocked secret times? Where, where? Take me to those. That sounds fun. Secret times where? No, I have to do the story. I'll, I'll be back, pretty boy. Okay, number nine. Another predicament. Oh, no. What are they going to do to us? Oh, shit. That got serious. This is back when I was a little baby. Rusty red rain falls from the sky and seeps into every nook and cranny of the city. I sense a powerful force. It's about to burst from my heart. Then the moon appears. Magnificent, it descends before me. It flickers. It seems to be blinking at me. Okay, there's a very intense story going on during this. The green light flickers like a blinking eye. Immediately, people cross the street, filling it like a flowing river. The same nightmare. I snap out of it and quickly fall in line with the rest of the crowd. Speaking of which, I wonder if there are any updates about the eye I saw outside the window. I need to ask Nero next time I see him. After leaving no Hunt zone number 7 last night, I sent the protocol to data analysis. I only got a few hours of sleep at home before being woke up by an early morning call from the squad. The Flux Nexus. Modified protocols. And Onikinus. Xavier clearly knows a lot more than he's letting on. I shouldn't have let him slip away last night. Arriving at the lobby of the Unicorns building, I see a few hunters have been dispatched on some urgent missions. On their motorcycles, they assume... Shit, I forgot to scroll down. <laughs> oh, 
I just saw the 310 HM. It's so fast. When will I get to ride one? Excuse me, sir. Can we have a short interview with you? Sure. Sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, Xavier's here. I hear a familiar voice nearby. I look in the direction of where it came from. It's... Xavier? He's wearing his hunter uniform. A journalist, microphone in hand, had stopped him by the road. Why did you become a hunter? Is it a dream of yours? No, I don't really have dreams. Aww, my poor little stoic boy. I'll give you something to dream about. Are you doing it for your family? It must be tough at your age. No, also I'm the only person in my family. Damn, yeah, I figured they'd hit us with that. <laughs> He probably lost his family while he was younger. That's rough. <laughs> the journalist really hit him with the Zuko. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Cut this out. Let's do another take. Bro, no. Let him be natural. You can't like dig, bad, bad, dig, 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 whatever. You can't decide what kind of personality he has. Just let him be him. Recently, there have been complaints of hunters destroying public facilities under the pretense of eliminating wanderers. I'm sorry. My mission partner is waiting for me. I need to get to work. That was his way of saying, shut up, pleb. <laughs> we kill the wanderers. Out of my way, civilian. Oh, he smiled again and it instantly disappeared. It's cute that he has those little moments. Those little moments where you see like the mask slip where it's just suddenly like, Oh, it's my partner. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Even with people around us, Xavier's gaze still finds its way to me. Before I can react, he's already walking toward me. Quit the close-ups! He leans down, his face very close to mine. I wonder what he smells like. <laughs> Delicious. I think ice cream. He seems to like ice cream. <laughs> No, you deal with those journalists yourself, my boy. I don't want anything to do with this. Coming to my senses, I glance at him. Then, at the relentless journalist and photogra phot phot the, the photographers hot on his tail. Beg me. Please. <laughs> I didn't say just with your words. Down on your knees, my boy. Imagine, though. Imagine if it actually worked. <laughs> Vanilla, probably. Yeah, but don't worry. We'll teach him something more than vanilla before this ends. Knew this game would be fun with you. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, we're having a good time with Xavier. We just need to add some spice to all this vanilla. It's sunny. The wind's nice. And the streets are busy. Wanderers aren't lurking around the corner. Honestly, it's weird seeing you like this. I almost can't believe it. What's next? A terrorist attack? Is this building going to blow up? Or is there a new wanderer getting ready to attack? You have already formed quite the impression of me. <laughs> I mean, if you always show up when there are wanderers around, yeah, that's a problem. Golden Retriever energy. Yeah, he is a giant puppy boy. Even though he's a bunny rabbit. If you join the briefing, I might change my preconceived notions about you. Looks like everyone's here. Come on over. Oh yeah, Jenna. Captain Jenna's voice resounds from the command center. I look around. One, two, three. Is it really just us for the post-mission briefing? He isn't vanilla. Wait, what? <laughs> Is this one of those Lan Wang Ji secret moments where it's like he acts super vanilla and then you find out what he's thinking every time he does that slight smile? Like if you hear inside his mind, it's not like, oh, there's my partner. I hope she's having a good day. Instead, it's, oh, there's my partner. God, I wish I had her tied up above me again. Whoops, shouldn't be thinking that. That's why the smile keeps disappearing. It's a little moment of smile where he's just like, oh, the things I'm gonna do to, nope, nope, nope. Push that down, Xavier. Not yet, later. <laughs> Some of his cards are crazy. Shit. You guys are making me want to play this game too much. <laughs> He's not really vanilla. Well, I can't wait to see the spice he's hiding beneath. Xavier and I walk over to Jenna, who's leaning on the desk. 
Aside from a faint shadow under her eyes, there's hardly any sign of fatigue for her who just pulled an all-nighter. I really like her outfit. God damn. We've been observing the fluctuations from last night. We also have the results from the protocol data you sent back. Yeah, what's up with that edited protocol? The light dims, and the command center projects a hologram of a protocol. Like a planet, the protocol rotates slowly, enveloped by blue and red protocurves. Damn, that's a curvy proto. This is the protocol you sent this morning. I'm sure you've noticed it's been modified. Yep. Is it the work of Onikinus? I don't know. <laughs> I love how the MC just threw that out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Xavier was the one who taught us that word, and we were like, wait, Onikinus? What is that? And we're just like, I I know this thing. I am intelligent too. <laughs> she seems badass. I like it. Yeah, she's definitely at fucking top. She tells you to kneel down, and you kneel down. Plus, oh my god, this is one thing I love about 3D animation. Like, look at the details on the costume. You can see exactly how it would be taken off. The different, like, layers you'd have to, like, unstrap, unbuckle. God damn, military uniforms are hot. Jenna glances at Xavier, then looks back at me. Getting along, I see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we already tied each other up. The blue line is the protocore's original protocurve. The red one shows it's been modified. We initially wanted to analyze the protocurve to determine the protocore's origin. But after searching the system database three times, none of the data matched up. How? Even if we can't find a perfect fit, we should at least j j j jam it in. I, I mean, determine its type, right? It's apparent Jenna thought of this before. She shakes her head. Believe it or not, we've never seen anything like it. The protocurve keeps changing. The red line is constantly flickering. It's a little unsettling. It's possible there's a protocore even the association isn't aware of. It also might serve another purpose. Hmm. Protocore with a different purpose? Excuse Fu? <laughs> no, excuse you. I know exactly what I said. I glance at Xavier. He's sitting in a swivel chair, hugging an auto pillow and spacing out. He's not joining our conversation anytime soon. It's a gift from Anakinus. Obviously, they know more about this protocol than we do. A hologram on the command center fades, and the light returns to normal. We need to obtain more samples to get more information about this unknown protocol. In order to do that, we'll have to use her evil. Oh yeah, my one unlocked that stone tablet for some reason. I wonder if that means I'm connected to all of this. The silent Xavier finally speaks. His face is expressionless as he rests his chin on the auto pillow. Jenna isn't surprised. She just nods. You know what her evil can do. It'd be good if she's willing to help us. How much are you gonna pay me? Once again, Jenna turns toward me. Since Anakinus is involved, it'll be dangerous. Risks are par for the course. So I am definitely wrapped up into this story somehow. MZ has like a special evil. If you help, we'll provide you full support and protection. You'll have a partner to assist you as well. I want Xavier. Tell him he belongs to me. As I try to digest all the information, I realize something. Can I ask a few questions, Captain? Speak. Oh, God. Oh, the voice actress is doing a hell of a job, too. <laughs> that commanding. Speak. God damn. Um, why does Onikinus do this stuff? Why do they modify protocols? The benefits a protocol provides are certainly tempting for groups like Anakinus. But the exact goal Anakinus wants to achieve by modifying protocols is still unknown. We speculate it's not about money, given Silas's track record. Okay. Who's Silas? He's the leader of Anakinus. Other modified protocols. Has the Hunters Association discovered other modified protocols before? Yes. But the methods used to modify them were crude. The potential damage they could have caused was minor at best. This time it's different. The energy shown in that abnormal protocurve is beyond our current understanding of protocores. Ah, uh, so they're more advanced than us. That's not great. Finding unknown protocores isn't something that can be done overnight. Today was just a small glimpse of what the overall mission would look like. Think about it. You worked hard last night. Take the next two days off. <gasps> I get two date days with Xavier. Let's go. 
The VA in this game is so good. Yeah, I was surprised. They put a lot of effort into it. Wonder if I kind of want to look up the cast list after this, see if I recognize them from anywhere. Because they're very natural. Like none of it feels like particularly overly scripted. Story eleven selection. This guy's voice kind of reminds me of Cloud from the new newer FF7s. The empty decks, decks. <laughs> the empty desk next to mine is yours. I thought it didn't belong to anyone. After Jenna leaves, it's just me and Xavier in the room. He's sitting in his chair, tears some packaging, and hands me half a loaf of bread as I lean on the table. The senior employees say the best scouts don't stay in the office. Why are you still here? As he wants to spend time with us. We need to decide. Oh? Decide what? Me? Whether or not you'll help the Hunters Association find those protocols. Oh, you're here to... <laughs> he's not leaving any time soon because they know he's so pretty. <laughs> he's, they're just like, hey, Xavier, we need you to spend the day with Fuchan. Spend the day with Fuchan, just, you know, make her want to stick around. <laughs> I nibble the bread. It's dry and blonde. I don't understand how he's able to eat it. Before that, I want to ask about the thing you called a flux nexus. Also, yeah, he just eats plain bread. I thought it would be like at least like a bread stuffed with something. <laughs> oh my God, he's so, so stoic. We need to add some spice to his life, guys. He's literally eating plain white bread. <laughs> you and Captain Jenna didn't say anything about it. The association isn't even sure it exists. How do you know about it? I don't know a lot about it. I just know its name. You also know its leader. You knew the fact that he was changing protocols. If you want, you can call it a protocol nexus. Fluxstone or Terra Stella, if you like. I like Terra Stella. That sounds fancy. Let's feed him. Do a baby bird style. <laughs> You're really good at dancing around the problem. Despite my burning curiosity, I've already been hit with tons of new information. I really need some time to digest it. Maybe he likes blonde bread. Yeah, definitely. But, God, you need some flavor in your life, my boy. There are better things out there. All right, if I do help out, I want to ask about my partner. You've been in unicorns longer than me. You probably know more people. Any recommendations? Xavier pauses as he's taking another bite. Seemingly surprised I'm interested in his opinion. My advice is that you don't join at all. Oh, damn. I expected as much. Actually, I do have something in mind. Definitely not you. <laughs> I choose you. Pokemon! I'll ask Advanced Text Labs. Hmm. We want to play hard? Yeah, we'll play hard to get. <laughs> definitely not you. I haven't made up my mind yet, but I definitely won't choose you. Why? Oh, he doesn't look... There's the disappointment! That's what I wanted to see. Because I wanted to see you sad. It helps me. A partner is someone you trust. Always having to guess someone's true motives isn't comforting. Our eyes meet, and Xavier stares at me for what feels like an eternity. Unexpectedly, I notice a fleeting sadness in his eyes. Bro, I'm just telling you to use your feelings. Use your big boy words. And tell me all those things you want to do. <laughs> Chat keeps telling me there's some spice in there. Let it out. If that's your criteria, then I can only wish you the best of luck. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Regardless of what you think, Unicorns has a lot of ways to get things done. Xavier shoves the last piece of bread into his mouth and stands up. Your evil might not be their only option. Don't stress about it. But what if it is, though? What if I'm so special? His emotions, I like the animation. Yeah, like I said, the subtle emotions. I like characters like this because I don't like them to just immediately jump up and down and be like, I love you. Please stay with me. The fact that he's like longing, but at the same time not able to say it. I like that. I like reading his facial expressions. That's that's better. You heard his feelings? Good. <laughs> Got to keep him on the back foot, chat. We can't be too eager. I'm not feeling stressed. I also don't get why you're telling me to refuse. 
I have my own reasons if I do help out. You might enter a world that's beyond your wildest imagination. I see that sounds like a threat. Don't threaten me with a good time, Xavier. I'm fine with that. I can show you that world. Has anyone said you suck at persuasion? Funnily enough, you just got me more interested. Yep. <laughs> Moments later, Xavier sighs as if he's made a compromise. I should have known I couldn't scare you away. There you go. Now he's smiling. Are you actually trying to make me back out, Xavier? Is that why you're actually here? Or is it because you couldn't stay away from me? He avoids my gaze. Don't. Oh. The finger to the lip, though. Maybe I'm here to mm? convince you to live with no regrets. Maybe you should learn that lesson and start actually speaking your mind so you don't have so many regrets. Anything involving Anakinus is complicated. Who knows if the Hunters Association will refuse to tell you about the dangers that lie ahead. Well, then you tell me. I was worried you wouldn't give it much thought and agree right away. Does he think I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> the way he worded that was like, yeah, every time I've met you, you just run headfirst into danger. I think you're just, you know, not the most intelligent. And choose someone else to be your partner. <gasps> oh, okay. That was adorable. No, okay. I'm choosing you. That was too good a line. Him finally being like, I was scared that you choose someone else to be your partner. I... You think you know me? You're the one who doesn't think things through. And we're back to being Sundere. <laughs> Damn it. Every time I try to play the long con, main character be cock blocking me too. <laughs> Oddly enough, Xavier doesn't argue. Instead, he gives me a surprisingly gentle smile and nods. If you do get involved in the end, then could you choose me as your partner? Egg. Oh, that's the end of it. That was actually a good ending spot. That was a very, like, that's practically a confession right there. He's like, come on. I want to be your partner. I don't want anyone else to be your partner. Shut up, Caleb. Busy with Xavier. Sun, Sun? Yeah, but we made him break. We made him crack. Oh, he showed his interest. Now we know he's keen. 12 challenge. I kind of want to try the challenge. Um... <laughs> Okay, first, first we'll do the gacha. We'll do the gacha. We'll see what kind of like new outfits and stuff we get. I believe that's in ba -ba 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 -bum, wish. Okay. We're going to be rolling rippling echo. Oh, well, let's just see these animations for a bit though. The music in this game has been incredible. Oh, the pinky promise. Oh, this guy's adorable. X space echo. Xavier the bunny boy. Aww. <gasps> Wait, does he use his Evo to create little butterflies? That's so adorable. He really said I want to be yours? Yeah, he did. The close-ups on the face are intense. What does this animation style remind me of? Cansey Pin. Um, the defective. It reminds me of the Donghua adaptation of the defective. A uh, rippling echo. This is the one we're actually going to do. Bunny boy has a bunny butt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I just not see a bunny tail? And he slapped his own. Oh, grabbing him on the face. This game is intense, man. Oh, he can make bunny ears with his magic. As okay, let's just start rolling this. Fuck it. Wish times 10, baby. Five-star memory of chosen character guaranteed within 50 pulls. Okay. Tell me, uh, I, I, I make sure, right? Um, yeah, Xavier. We want Xavier. We want to see Bunny Boy. We want to see this spice people are telling me. Which time's 10? What was that? I don't know, but we better unlock that. I want to spank that ass. No, that's not who I wanted. Quick sketch. That is adorable. Don't get me wrong. Next. Whoa. Xavier Gaze. That is one for the gaze. 
Raphael social occasion. They're giving me so many Raphaels. He is pretty. Don't get me wrong. The suit's nice. Oh, this is something special. Five star. Xavier precious bonfire. I want it. Damn, we got a five star first pull. Let's go. Raphael, what you doing? Xavier, bad idea. Raphael, in your eyes. Raphael, take care of... Oh, shit. That's a nice shot. Damn it. Xavier, listen. Oh, that's the pillow he's cuddling up against. Jesus. This game is so powerful. It knows what it's doing. These date ideas. I am taking notes for future voice packs. God damn. Zane, precious treasure. I do like doctor things, though. The lab coats. That one. Precious bonfire. Level 1 out of 10. Oh, we actually went camping? Sick. I don't know how to, like, activate this. Is it just, like, an image? I thought it'd be, a, like, a little movie. Very beautiful, though. Okay. And we got 10 crystals. Yo, that puts up your affinity, too. Oh, no. <laughs> The amount of money you're going to end up spending in this. <laughs> we went up to eight. Unlock text message ability assessment. We've got a lot of dates to do after this. Okay, 10 more. It's still on my boy, right? Deep space gift. During the event, you can claim these rewards upon completing 50 pulls. We can do 50 pulls. Let's keep going. Um, sure. Bum, 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 bum. Go to memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that after we do our five pulls. I think we get five pulls. Um, oh, that's sick. His sword is really cool looking. I don't know what weapons the other guys have, but yeah, like the thin double-edged blade is nice. Zane work plan. That's a nice jacket too. Decent. <sighs> oh, that's actually really fucking sexy. The way she's grabbing his shirt... Mm -hmm. That would only be better if it was a tie rather than the shirt itself. Oh, God. Raphael, take care of me. Raphael, come with me. Trump card. So many Raphaels. We even got a double. Main waiting. This one, though. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> this game gets it. Oh, we got so many doubles for things. Xavier Blade? Use to craft and rank up Xavier Blade. Affinity rank 10. Affinity rank 7. The one of a kind thing is for the person who wants to enjoy snow in summer from Zane. He gave me perfume. Cute. Okay, three more. Bum, bum, bum. Vishan, you can share to get 10 diamond. Ah, we'll do... Thankfully, Love and Deep Space, with their amazing sponsorship opportunity, gave me lots of pulls for this. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Got a lot to go through. Main playing around. Tranquil Heart. That's really nice as well. The four stars are pretty damn decent. Oh my god, that's adorable. Why is he always hugging a pillow, you soft, soft boy? That's pretty sexy as well. Oh, if it was just a bit further forward. You, you, what you need is like a little bit, like it needs to press against the lips. You need to see the lip be raised slightly and then it'd be better. Ocean at night. God damn, the lighting effects are so good too. Tranquil heart. We're getting some really good pulls. We got so many four stars this time. Dreams within reach. Okay. Hit me with the next one. 20 out of 50. Yeah, we'll do it two more times. He's a sleepy guy. He's a comfy guy. I like it. Only had a little rabbit plushie instead of a pillow. That's what we need. Why are your pulls that good? Maybe it's just that the game is that good and forgiving. <laughs> Zane, doctor's orders. See, that's sexy. That idea again. In your eyes. Thoughts. Reflection. No. <laughs> Don't you hit me with the no. Check up. Oh, he made a freaking tiny snowman. That's adorable too. Apple of my eye. Oh, <gasps> Xavier can smile. We're getting too many Raphaels though. 
<laughs> Three, four stars. Yeah, it's been real lucky today. Our affinity is going all over the place. Okay, so this should be a guaranteed five star. Four stars are amazing too. Yeah, I can't wait to view them. Xavier, listen again. Asculation. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> That's a nice outfit. That reminds me of like Resonance of Fate. Oof. Oh, little burbs. And again, yeah, he's got the blanket on him as well. <laughs> he is a very comfy dude. About to hit the ball. Oh, we got a double. <laughs> like literally one after the other. Waiting. Oh, so this wasn't... Maybe the next one's the guaranteed five star. Or maybe we broke the thing when we ended up getting a five star on our first pull. Boom. Infinity to rank 10. If each star represented a wish, he'd have so many wishes now. He made me a bottle of origami stars. That's so cute. Oh, you already got the five stars, so none here. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. They didn't need to do the gratitude. Do I have enough to do one more pull? 810. Nope. Uh, but what if I did, though? <laughs> no. Don't do this to me. Fine. We got a five star. That's fine. I can get free 50 pulls. No, no. Let's go see the memories. Raphael, aside from fighting wonders, you wait for you. Okay. The five star is the most interesting, but let's do... Oh, I want to do this one too. We didn't even do Raphael's route, but god damn, this shot. Raphael, dangerously close. Rank ups will significantly incre incre improve your memories attributes. Rank ups require the corresponding memory shards, but we do not have that, <laughs> unfortunately. Protocol unlocks upon completing main story 413. Upgrade. So do you get to see like a uh, anything else? Third banner foo? It's starting foo? What's starting? Fall into the gacha. No, no. <laughs> Go to the standard banner if you want to pull more. No, this is fine. Date. Oh, this is how you do it. Okay. Damn, we're already up to date four. Um, why does it scroll so much? No, 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 just a few. I want to see this one. Honking loudly won't help you move faster. But it helps me express what I'm feeling, you know? Actually, we would have made it if you stepped on the gas at the last well, green light. we should light. slow down at traffic lights. That's something I've known since third grade. I gaze at the seemingly endless stretch of cars ahead of us. <laughs> we should have just ridden bikes. An exhibition jointly held by Raphael, the renowned artist in a world-famous perfume brand. Not for being God late, it, no. So fast. But if we were to arrive on bicycles, they'd have a field day. Say, if you've been keeping me in suspense, can't you tell me why I was invited? There will be many people at the exhibition. I'm going to need a bodyguard. And after much consideration, you were my best choice. Nope, you've ruined this for me. Remember... He's too smug. He's too arrogant. We're going to go do the five star. <laughs> you failed me, Raphael. I'm not into it. Back to Xavier. Okay. They thought. Find moments that make him kindled. Oh, I like that flame. <laughs> In five star memories. You can pause or you can open the log. Cool. Tap here to access moments that make him kindled. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted full animation for the five stars this is amazing this will have to do a bonfire party where it's just us doesn't sound too bad oh he's way closer to the mic in this one as well it makes it so much more samari yo he does turn them into butterflies that's so cute you won't like Raphael then yeah i, I think i'm more of a zane and xavier guy it's Did you learn a new check with the evil? The bonfire party, even if no one sees it. I see it. That should be all that matters. But you get to see it, so it's not a loss. Shit, he hit me with that W Riz. <laughs> this is so cute. If I boop you in the face, boop the snoot. <laughs> is that everything? Did we? Doesn't look like there's anyone else to... Oh, there we go. Bonnie Rabbit. 
You just have more tricks up your sleeve, huh? You're making it sound like I'm putting on a magic show. That is essentially what you're doing. I'll pay you. How well, much? Then. I'm not sure yet. A rain check? <laughs> just tell me the value. Voulez-vous coucher avec make moi? Sure you don't back out. We should. Oh? What are you thinking about? Sign on the dotted line. Land crap. Where do you want me to sign you? Oh, the freaking adorable! I'm the one who gave him the bunny ears. Your name, not a rabbit. No, no, this is better. I just signed you. You're my property now. Oh, freaking phone. From Grace. Get Has out of here, Grace. Party started? This is better anyway. How did a card used for playing Mafia end up here? We should just stay here. Wait, Mafia? Like the werewolf game? I might have accidentally... Oh, the hand touch! If Cupid connects two players and one gets eliminated... That's a very different Mafia. The other will follow suit. <laughs> Doesn't that describe our relationship right now? Oh, he's so in love. Uh, I figured out what I want my payment to be. Kiss, 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 kiss. Tell me when you're overwhelmed next time. Shit. Since we're already bound by this. Okay. Oh, damn. That was intense. <laughs> I, yeah. They, they did good with this, and we kindled him. Is that the same as pressing the date button? Oh, this is the explanation of the date. After the squad worked tirelessly for over a month, Captain Jenner decided to organize a camping trip to let everyone relax. Unfortunately, I ended up drawing the straw to be the leader, turning what was supposed to be a simple camping trip into another massive responsibility weighing heavily down on me. Oh, so as you level it up, you get more parts of these as well? Fluffy trap. Why? Why do I not have that option? <laughs> Why? Okay. Let's go on this date. Yo, Ukiki, how you doing? That's the full story? Clearly not. We've got a whole story that leads up to it. I think the kindling was just like a special at the end kind of thing. We kindled him. Looks like we're all here. We can hit the road now. After taking a head count, I'm the last one to climb aboard the vehicle. I slump into my seat, letting out a long sigh of relief. <sighs> Just as I finished with work, camping-related tasks immediately headed my way because I was the group leader. Sighing, I close my eyes. Today won't be a vacation for me. It'll be a trial by fire. I have it. I could send you a video of the card. Who's your fave? We've only really done Xavier today. Zane looks sexy as fuck. I like doctors. I like like the more like aggressive types. But Xavier's been freaking adorable. Our, our, our whole run today has just been the entire like Xavier chapter three story and then some dates. So it's been nice. But yeah, I think Zane and Xavier are a nice balance. I don't like Raphael. He's too smug. He's too arrogant. He's too full of himself. Someone's here. Didn't everyone board the vehicle already? Who could it be? Opening my eyes, I see Xavier has suddenly appeared along with two golden crispy hash browns in the paper bag he's holding. Hungry? I am now. Ravenous. He lowers his head, uses his teeth to take out a hash brown, and hands me the bag with the other one in it. The comforting warmth of food jump starts my mind. I blink, my eyes widening in delayed realization. Wait, why are you here? You said you weren't coming. Yet. <laughs> I meant. Piotan, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, we're in the middle of a um a, a, a sponsored stream, so this is kind of an awkward time. The D stands for deep in space. <laughs> That's phrasing. Piotan, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Eve. Enjoy the rest of it. Thank you, Ukiki. I will hit you up for that video later. Ooh, yeah, but thank you for being here, P.O. Town. Thank you so much for the raid. We're just playing a game called Love in Deep Space. It's a sponsored stream, but it's been really fun. Um, There's been, like, a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of cuteness. We've been, like, balancing. It's been great. <laughs> oh, 
I'll be there when I wake up. This is Xavier. He is a bunny rabbit incarnate. Also a badass fighter, which is a nice double. And currently we're about to go on a bonfire trick with him. Go for it, Futan. Thank you, Piotan. I thought it was just a polite way of saying no. A subtle rejection. If I really didn't want to go, I would have told you directly. You say that, but you do be kind of hiding behind <laughs> subtlety a lot. <laughs> His eyes exhibit pure honesty. When he looks at me, my gaze becomes filled with surprise. Oh no, I forgot to get you camping gear. It's okay, I can sleep anywhere. And there was only one sleeping bag. <laughs> it really happened. We might not have enough food. Then share a grilled sausage with me. <laughs> why sausage? Why, 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 why do you have to do this? He speaks as he removes the headphones around his neck. He puts them over my ears. Let's take care of those bags under your eyes first. Then you can go back to work, Captain. Okay, you gonna be my pillow? I don't like sleeping on buses. A soft hum of white noise flows from the headphones. I rub my eyes and let my heavy eyelids fall. Huh? Xavier! You never show up at any group activities. Why'd you come today? Oh, you know why. He cares about us. Share the sausage! <laughs> I mean... Yep. <laughs> oh, I just felt like it. Maybe we can lady in the trampet and meet in the middle. <laughs> you want to join us? We're going to the bonfire party tonight. Let's talk later. She's sleeping. Oh, he's so soft. He's so gentle. Muffled voices are slowly drowned out by the sound of running water. Unknowingly, I slowly sink into a dream. The fact that he didn't even want to talk to anyone else. He was just like, shh, 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 shh now. She's sleeping. Shut the fuck up. I'm just going to sit here by her. And you guys leave me the hell alone. After a short break, I found myself busy once again. The moment it got to the campsite. But I expected it. Captain! I'm missing a tent pole! There are spares in the camper van. Just grab a pole with the same serial number as yours. Captain, I think my electric grill is broken. I'll check it out in a bit. This is why you don't bring air fryers to the freaking woods. Captain, I'm here to collect the food for our group. So do it! Why the... Oh my god, do you guys need hand-holding through everything? Somebody already collected it. After sorting out a myriad of issues from my dumbass colleagues, slightly confused, I find myself carrying around a brand new electric grill. Whose grill is broken? Oh, it's okay. It's fixed. You, you fixed it? Out of nowhere, Xavier swoops in, snatches the grill from my arms, and returns it to the camper van. He just forgot to turn it on. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Why are these people working for us? These are the ones who defend us from the goddamn wanderers? Really? Oh, I'm glad that you know how to turn things on, Xavier. I think someone else was looking for me. Nope. Has he already been doing all the work for me? He wraps an arm around my shoulder, guiding me to his campsite. <laughs> Xavier really said No, I dealt with all of that. Come on now. I into the campsite. C come come to my tent. Come come lay down. You look tired. A bunch of hunters who are known to kill wanderers won't suddenly become idiots when they're out camping. Yet they have. They 100% have. They can take care of themselves. I want to respond with a witty retort, but he cuts me off with a nonchalant remark. Aren't you the biggest problem right now? Are you saying you're going to solve this problem? He holds his phone up to my face. The screen glaringly displays the time. I didn't realize it was already... My stomach belatedly joins in with a growl, and I sheepishly look elsewhere. <laughs> what that laugh! Do? Oh. The captain took care of everyone else, but no one wants to take care of her. Are you offering? <laughs> it's time to stop working. Leave the rest to me. He is so freaking different from the storyline. The storyline, he's so like reserved and held back. And then you get to this date and he's just like, No, come here, Captain. Let me lead you to my campsite. You look tired. You should get some food. Can I trust you? Xavier nods with certainty. 
This time, definitely. This time? <laughs> oh, that sounds like a good time to me. Ten minutes later, I'm standing near the grill. My mouth agape. The chicken wings were but black lumps. Don't chicken wings go on the grill set to medium heat? And you flip them after two minutes. And they're flipped again after another two minutes. That's the right way to do it, right? Yeah, I followed your instructions perfectly. Oh, he sucks at cooking. <laughs> Did you do something while I wasn't looking? Does coating them in more oil count? Did you want to start a fire? Xavier throws his hands up, appearing serious yet innocent. I kick his chair. Move. It's time for the captain to do it. Staring at the sizzling sausages on the grill as I hear Xavier chopping something with a knife behind me. Concerned for the chopping board's safety, I turn around only to see his outstretched hand. What is it? Bread with cucumber slices and sour cream. Nope. <laughs> that, no, that doesn't sound like a good sandwich, my boy. <laughs> Could you at least have gone with mayo instead of sour cream or something with more flavor? The fluffy slice of bread is topped with a layer of green and delicious sour cream. It surprisingly looks really good. Curious but skeptical, I bite into it. I guess it wouldn't taste too different from cucumber raita. It just, I don't know. That doesn't feel right. He's not very male wife material. No, but he, well, he's male wife material except for the cooking. He still wants to tuck us in. He still wants us to be comfy. It's pretty adorable. What do you think? Wait, did I miss some? Shit. <laughs> Wow, this is actually delicious. You don't have to sound so surprised. I mean, after what you did to the chicken, my boy, that was a crime right there. I devour the bread in a few bites. I glance over to see his eyes filled with delight. I get it. Your cooking skills are only good when fire or electricity isn't involved. Why don't we go camping in a primordial forest next time? I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of glamping out here with the whole like electric ovens and shit. We're cheating. I hand him a perfectly grilled sausage. Then I'll trust you one more time. Deal. Oh shit, this is actually so cute and domestic. Man! This day goes on for a while, too. I told you number seven is bad at his role. His speeches have been a total train wreck. If his speech hadn't been so provocative, I wouldn't have chosen the strategy. At night, everyone starts to form their own groups. The atmosphere is lively and bustling. I was planning to sleep in my tent. <laughs> but I ended up playing Mafia with my co-workers. I did not end up sleeping in anyone else's tent. This isn't that kind of game, everybody. <laughs> Feeling out of sorts, I ended up revealing I was the mafioso in the first round, which ended the game. I suck at this. <laughs> it's still early. <laughs> Let's keep playing. I really want to sleep. But if I leave, I might look like a sore loser. Are you having fun? I, totally. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, hell yeah. Change the perspective. Just as I'm about to yawn, Xavier's face pops up above me, catching me off guard. I hold back the rest of my yawn. Do you want to play? I don't know how. I can teach you. Xavier murmurs a response before sitting down next to me. Wait, that's a lie! In the five-star one, you knew exactly how the game worked. You knew about the Cupid card. Hmm. You need to teach me. He's doing this on purpose. He's being cute. He's like, oh, come on, you need to teach me. Lean over me. Get close to me. Put your hand on my hand while I take a card. I thought Xavier was being humble until he revealed his card to me. What does this mean? Idiot. <laughs> the facial expressions are so good. Goddamn. There's a mix of confusion, surprise, and disbelief in Xavier's eyes. With a grin, I point at the word idiot on his card. Oh. <laughs> That's your role. It even tells you what to do. Also, I flip over the card he showed me. You can't tell anyone about your role. You really don't know how to play, huh? Oh, so this is Mafia. The Cupid role. Oh, it's like the lovers. Okay. I don't actually know, like, the names for things in Mafia. I know it from like Werewolf and I mean Among Us is pretty similar. <laughs> Those kind of games where it's like a social deduction thing. So yeah, it is that kind of mafia. That's a fun game. I told you, didn't I? Yeah, I guess we're working together on this one then. My little idiot. 
So why did you agree to play? Isn't there a reward for winning? Mm -hmm. Out of the corner of my eye, a pile of snacks sits behind my colleague. All right, leave it to me. I got your back. <laughs> is this also part of the captain's job? Nah, this is personal preference. I've done a lot already. It doesn't hurt to help you as well. I didn't think Xavier would accidentally make everyone suspicious of him in the first round. While I tried to defend him, he still ended up being the first one killed. <laughs> and I also got eliminated right after for having covered him. Should we go somewhere else? Yes, we should. As Xavier gently takes my hand, our eyes meet. His gaze is twinkling with mirth. It suddenly dawns on me. Did you lose on purpose? She's catching on. That's what I'm saying. He knows this game. He just wanted us out. He wanted like a cute moment, pretending that he didn't know how to play and then like, maybe we should get out of here. Somewhere, just the two of us. I just don't know how to play. Mm-hmm. Sure you don't. Ah, <sighs> this is so cute. And here we are. In the camper van, not too far away from the campsite, decorative lights twinkle like fireflies. They cast a soft glow with the lights in the distance. Xavier has me sit down at the back of the van and shoves a pillow behind me. Oh, he's even making me comfortable. I can see my colleagues buzzing in excitement as they prepare for the bonfire party. Are you okay? Hell yeah. Glad you gave me some spine support too. That's nice. What's next? You're running on fumes. I'm a little tired. A little. <laughs> His voice is really good too. Damn it, man. He looks back at the group, unsure if we left them or they left us. The bonfire party is about to start. It's going to be noisy. Yeah. So nobody will hear a little bit of... Ka. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> this game is messy. messed up, man. It's doing things. Things might get messy. Don't worry. That's what tissues are for. <laughs> or showers. Probably. A lot of problems might come your way again. Not if we lock the van. We'll go off into the woods. Either one works for me. Maybe. Do you still want to go? No, let's stay right here. Seeing my hesitation, he arrives at a conclusion. Don't then. Correct. If anyone asks, tell them I won't let you leave me. Aww. When did you start being so decisive? Holy shit. Isn't that unfair? After a long day, it's okay to slack off a little. Xavier leans against the pillow behind him. The lights inside the van bathing his face in a warm, inviting glow. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the bit we started at. This is so cute. This is right before we fall asleep as well. He's just trying to, to calm me. A bonfire party where it's just us doesn't sound too bad. No, it sounds awesome. Butterflies. He's adorable. Yeah, he is. And this lighting makes him look so much cuter. It's a performance I prepared for the bonfire party. And he only shared it with me. No one sees it. Exactly. He only cares about but me seeing it. See it. So it's not a loss. That's so cute. Bunny rabbit. The little bunny tail. You just have more tricks up your sleeve, You're huh? Making it sound like I'm putting on a magic show. <laughs> I really wanted to see the one where he has the rabbit well, tail, though. Damn it. I'm not sure yet. A rain check. Aw. You can just take so sure shots during this too. Should. What are you thinking about? Sign on the dotted line. Mm-hmm. I wish I could actually draw whatever I wanted. Let's see how much they let me get out of this, because I'm just gonna be like hot nope. Yeah, no, they don't let you draw anywhere else. Hato. Hato. <laughs> Terrible hearts. Did I mess it up? <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better. <laughs> you actually can fine. mess it up. I'm glad we did it properly the first time. <laughs> God damn it. 
Oh, yeah. No, I don't want the phone. Put it away. This one I want to mess up. Screw it. No. Booba. Fine. Has the bonfire party started? Unfortunately. Plus, it's only 8 p.m. How did a card used for playing Mafia end up here? A couple of them, actually. I had a couple up my sleeve, apparently. I don't play fair. Oh, hand touch is so cute. If Cupid connects two players and one gets eliminated, the other will follow suit. The lover's card. Doesn't that describe our relationship right now? Because we need each other. Ah, I figured out what I want my payment to be. That's cute. They fight together, Tell they play we're together. Next time. Since we're already bound by this. Holy shit, that date is so impressive. Starts with him helping her sleep. Then he ends up like intercepting everybody who has problems and solving them for her before she has to. And then he gives her like a cute little end and helps her go to sleep. Yeah, we got all the kindled. Does that mean we get special items? Ah, oh, 20 gems. And more gems. Okay. <laughs> Hoping for like, you know, some new outfits or something. <laughs> that was a cute date, though. That was adorable. Oh, no. Only Xavier. Dreams within reach. We oh, sure, we're out of time. Oh, my God. It's been two hours. <laughs> well, this was supposed to be a one hour stream and then I got permission to go on for an hour and a half and oh my god. Okay. Well, <laughs> this has been love and deep space. <laughs> um, if I had time, we were going to go into the photo studio. Where, where, where that be? Um, I think that's in date. Yeah. Well, we'll finish with that. They surely won't mind me going like a few minutes over. Do the Tao Fu? No, I don't think I can. Uh, I've been told I shouldn't do the Tao. <laughs> oh, you can select certain scenes as well. Let's go to the Sakura trees. Sure. This is. Oh, I got white hair. When did that happen? I mean, that's awesome. It's exactly what I wanted. They are not going to have my hairstyle. <laughs> do they have any like mismatching lengths at least? Oh, this wavy hair. Oh, that's so cute. That's bong. Holy crap. That's adorable. Holy. They've got lots of options for customization. That's kind of... Yeah, it's the wrong direction. <laughs> but that's probably the closest we're going to get to my hair. Oh, no, that's slightly closer. Why did it go back to... What? No, no, I wanted it white still. Uh, recommended. Oh, there we go. There's the colors. White. Perfect. Outfit. That's cute. We got the black and red too. Her battle outfit is freaking sick. Oh, that's really nice as well. The little short shorts. Everything's like leather. Oh, man. That's sick as well. She's got so many good outfits. So much purple. Oh, so comfy. That's kind of sexy. Jeez. These cost so much money. Am I allowed to use the money? I mean... Oh my god, little tiny cop outfit. Jesus, the booty shorts. Crimson mood. This, goddamn. These two are impressive. I think I like this one the most. Love me a person in uniform. This is very fan. Oh, that's actually really impressive. That looks like something you'd get in like an MMORPG. But yeah, no, we gotta. They're not watching, right? I'll be safe. Insufficient. Oh, I have 450. I thought it was the gems. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, um, what can we actually wear? <laughs> we'll go with the red and black hunter outfit. That's sexier. Do we have any accessories? We can have a little ducky. Oh, we can be a bunny too. I thought that was exclusive for Xavier. That's cute. 
You can tell they're going to be like adding things during events as well, because this must be like preparation for Christmas and Easter. You know, angel halo. Nah, we're good without any of these. Um, facial. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's a fast. Okay, <laughs> that was a step up from everything I was expecting. Yeah, it's all the same things that we had for Xavier's customization. Those glasses suit her more. I don't really like the rest of these. Those are good, though. Earrings. Oh, thank God, it's not just the stupid headphones. <laughs> None of these are great, though. And no rings. Okay, that'll do. Oh, we're so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? Okay, style him. Falcon. <laughs> Look, man, the wording choices are there. If you thought I wasn't going to call them out, you could be in battle mode, too. Gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I'm not allowed to do it. I'm literally not allowed. To... Okay, you wear this. That's fine. Um, You can't have you wear the glasses, though. Yeah, no, they literally told me I wasn't allowed to do that on stream. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Accessor. Oh, those are just those same accessories. Poses. His poses. Oh, yeah, we got new ones. That's kind of cute. That's the only one we actually unlocked for him. Oh, that's adorable. Let's go with that one. Oh, well, there's duo poses. We unlocked this one, too. Oh, that's a cute shot. That looks like the opening for like a book or something. Control yourself, Futan. I know, right? <laughs> we literally have rules. This is a sponsored stream. Oh, that's an adorable pose. That's cute as well. I like that one. Oh my god, look at all the ones you can unlock. Oh, mm -hmm. This is making me feel more single than ever. <laughs> These are so cute. That's fucking adorable. I'm pushing him away. The Pocky Game! Um, aw. And they can both do the heart. I would do the thumbs up. Don't let him get the heart. He doesn't deserve it. <laughs> the monster thing. Oh god, yeah, I can see why people are losing themselves in this game. Oh shit! The fact that you're eventually able to equip rings, that's just straight up a marriage, like a, well, an engagement photo. When we actually have rings unlocked, if we put them on their fingers, yeah, boom. That's an engagement announcement right there. Okay, yeah, I like this one the most. This one's adorable. Star pose is a print. So is that, like, yeah? Yeah, you have to, like, actually pose them. Oh, I want this one. Damn it. You can't keep it like that. Sad. I'm done. I'm done. Go away. <laughs> oh, well. Ready. Choose before the timer expires. No, this is, um, um. Go with that one. Oh, it's just like Purikura. Glasses are cute. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that's kind of adorable. No, I'll go with the glasses. The glasses are so cute. You could do a thumbs up instead of a love heart with Raphael. Oh, that's sweet. So you get one of each of you and then one double. Okay. Aww. Mm, yeah, I like this one too. Like I said, this looks like the beginning of like a book. Four photos. Oh, that's so adorable. You can add filters? This is wild. My god. And just like that, you've made some date memories. Better without the filters, honestly. Bum, bum. Stickers? Oh my god. <laughs> Most of them are locked, but still. Could be a little strawberry head. Honestly, some of these things are, like, better than my phone. <laughs> like, the phone editing is harder than this. Here you go, buddy. You get some glasses. <laughs> oh, there's text and emojis as well. Cute. I don't do. I don't want to ruin the rest of them. Two, three, four, five. Save. Okay. That, yeah, okay. I've gone way over time. I need to stop now. This was an adorable game. I might beg them to keep this, <laughs> to keep this account so that I could just continue playing from volume four. 
Oh man, it had so much money too. The date was really cute. The actual, like the fighting gameplay is really good as well, which I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of shocked by. Um, I was expecting it to mainly focus on just the dating parts. I mean, that's the main part of the story for sure. But yeah, I was surprised at how like smoothly it lets you move around, dodge attacks. You got some good combo attacks, so it's great. With that said, hope you can keep it too. I hope so too. Or I hope we just get to play this more in the future. This has been fun. Hopefully they keep updating it, but yes. Anyway, <laughs> I had so much fun with this. You can check out the game yourself. It's available on Android and Apple. Um, if you haven't already, you can also use the gift code way over there on the left. The QR code will take you to the download page to download the game. And if you use that uh, gift code, capital N, lowercase n, capital D, give it the D, X, Folger with a capital F, then you'll get some special prizes once you complete chapter one. If you don't want to click those or use the QR codes, it's also all available in the description at the bottom of this video. So be sure to check that out whenever you want to. <laughs> Just going through things and realizing, oh shit. Yeah, this was supposed to be one hour. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Show some love to Love and Deep Space. Um, it was so nice that they sponsored so many of us to play this. I'm sure everybody else had so much fun. It's nice that like Uki still play like offline by himself. And yeah, this has been great. Oh my god. I normally don't go for the nice guys, but yeah, he's just, he's just freaking adorable, man. Okay. So thank you everybody for being here. We're going to wrap up this stream from here, but like I said, um you're able to use that code up until I believe yeah, February the 17th. So if you want if you've like watched this video, the vod afterwards, feel free to check it out. And yeah, once I post things on Twitter, definitely let me know in the like comment section. Yeah, in fact, yeah, do it on the video rather than on Twitter. <laughs> Let me know when the books at home see the light of day. Oh, yeah, it's nice to have some natural light in there. Um, but yeah, let me know on the, uh, the, the the comment section of this video. Like, who's your favorite boy? Are there any like better dates you've been on? And tell me about this spiciness that happens eventually. I wanted to see the butt pat date. That's the only thing I'm so sad that we missed. <laughs> but other than that, this was so much fun. Thank you all so much for joining me. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. The new schedule is up on Twitter. I've actually had it pinned in the comment section this whole time. So yeah, feel free to check out the new schedule. We will be back tomorrow for a different stream. But yeah, feel free to check out Love and Deep Space. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Do not be led astray, my confidants. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.